In this example, we want to integrate sine squared x. To do this, we might be thinking of performing u substitution, where if we let u equal sine x, we could write this as u squared, but let's see why this u substitution would not work. If we let u equal sine x, notice that differential u is equal to cosine x dx. And because our integrand does not contain cosine x, this u substitution will not work. But what we can do is perform a substitution using a power reducing formula given here below in red. Sine squared x is equal to one half times the quantity one minus cosine two x. So by performing a substitution using this identity, we can write this as one half times the integral of the quantity one minus cosine two x. So notice how to integrate cosine two x, we will have to perform u substitution. So let's go ahead and write this as two separate integrals. We'd have one half times the quantity, the integral of one dx minus the integral of cosine two x. And again, looking at the second integral, we would perform a u substitution where u is equal to two x, and therefore differential u is equal to two dx. If we divide both sides by two, we can see that one half du is equal to dx. So let's go ahead and write this again. We'll have one half times the quantity of the integral of one dx, and then we'd have minus the integral of, this would be cosine u, but dx is equal to one half du, so we have an extra factor of one half and then du. Now let's go ahead and integrate. We'd have one half times the quantity of the integral of one with respect to x would just be x, and then minus one half times the integral of cosine u, which would be sine u, or in this case, since u is equal to two x, sine two x. And then of course, plus c, our constant of integration. Let's go ahead and distribute here. We have one half x minus one fourth sine two x plus c. So this would be our antiderivative, but we could also express this another way using a double angle identity. Since sine two x is equal to two times sine x cosine x, we could perform another substitution here to write this in a slightly different way. We don't need to, but let's go ahead and show how we could do this. This would be equal to one half x minus one fourth times Again, sine two x is equal to two times sine x times cosine x. Still have plus c. So this could also be written as one half x, and then we'd have minus one half sine x cosine x. So for example, if you're looking in the back of a textbook, you may also see this as the antiderivative. Notice how we could also factor out the one-half if we wanted to. I hope you found this helpful.